thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we are going to talk about scaling out across the organization. How does Kanban scale? That's a big question that people have a lot of times. Um, the key to the Kanban when we're talking about scaling it out is really identifying the services that are there and achieving a flow of information across the enterprise. That's a key thing. So let's talk a little bit about how that looks and how it works. So when we're looking at the Kanban principles for scaling, what we're really thinking about is how to do it from one service at a time. Uh, we use something called static, which you may have heard about. If you haven't, it's a great thing to look into. Uh, it's how we build our services. So we don't attempt to put together a grand solution. We don't have a grand plan in mind. We work from one service at a time. And we use the Kanban cadences as a mechanism to enable balance, to improve the overall enterprise services delivery over time. This is evolutionary change, not some kind of dramatic change that you're used to seeing. So when we're looking at this, this is kind of how it feels. You might start with one area of your business and watch it slowly branch out. You're building one service at a time, going from IT to vendor management to marketing, on and on, you build out your services and connect them together. And this typically starts with maybe IT because IT might be the most expensive area or the most painful area. Either way, you're going to find that you slowly develop out an entire enterprise solution for how you use Kanban. Now, when we're looking at Kanban, it really has a couple of dimensions to it when we're scaling. We have the option to grow horizontally across the value stream, really looking to the left to improve quality of engagement with customers, quality of requirements, quality of needs. It all depends on your environment, but you're going to find that there's an ongoing developing need to get closer and closer to your customer as you use Kanban. You may also work down to the right side of your value stream connecting with your other dependent organizational uh, areas. And it all depends on what you're trying to do as far as your business need. A lot of companies I work with, they tend to say, let's solve a problem here within a given area of the business, which really establishes that initial service. And they tend to go upstream, like salmon floating upstream. They want to find their home and they go back to their customer to really provide a better quality of service. Now, in addition to that, we can also scale vertically. And by vertically, we mean going further down into the business going into other subordinate dependent agencies or organizational units that help out the business, and those become more or less Kanban systems or services. Above us, we start to find higher level of granularity, more information being transferred up higher and higher to the higher levels of the business. And at that point, what we're looking at is a different level of granularity, really trying to get into higher level views, project portfolios, um, enterprise plans like uh, strategic plans, correlating back down to the various services that support the business. So this is one example of how we look at scaling. Now, an example here of what it might look like is you have demand coming in and it works its way down to additional services. That a first service could be your customer facing service that deals with the customer from one end to the other. The customer makes a request, you pick up the result and hand it back to them. But that result comes through a cascading effect of working with other services in your business. Now, when we're talking about improving these services, what we're looking at really is the Kanban cadences. It's a really great system of meetings to observe and review, review and improve uh, each system from an end-to-end -end perspective. Now, I tend to like the Kanban cadences a lot. I'm a big fan of feedback loops. And what we're looking at here is really things like the review meeting for operations, the review meeting for risk, uh, checking in on the operations of these systems, which is a data kind of meeting, and also planning on what do you improve? What do you get done as far as the overall environment of your business? So this is a few examples of what we do with Kanban at the scaling perspective.